Welcome to another video. So take a look at this clip right now that I'm going to show you. So there are three things that we can fix for this gentleman's swimming and two of them are really easy to fix. First of all, he's going to have to wear a swim cap, okay? You can see that he has long hair. That hair gets in the way. It looks like this as you're swimming, okay? When you have long hair. Me, I have long bangs as you can see. So I need to wear a swim cap to keep my hair tidy and for hygiene, hygienic purposes, you don't want hair floating off to the surface okay it happens all the time okay don't say it doesn't it does happen i'm a lifeguard you collect swarms of hair at the end of the day they clog the, the filters of the pool all the time okay so keep your hair nice and tidy and hygienic by wearing a swim cap unless you have no hair okay second thing he needs to improve or he can quickly fix is that you notice that he swims one lap and he stops and pauses and he just stands there and does nothing now that is the equivalent of you trying to learn how to ride a bike and then you just pedal like five steps and then you stop and then you pedal another five steps and then you stop does that make sense as a cyclist no it doesn't and it doesn't make sense as a swimmer as well i don't know why people develop this habit but i see this in public pools all the time people swim one lap and then they stop and they're not out of breath they're just they just develop this bad habit of just stopping. So what he has to do is keep swimming. That's what continuous swimming is. You're not swimming 25 meters. You're not swimming 50 meters. You're swimming for your life, okay? When you are in an emergency situation, say your boat capsizes in the middle of the ocean, you're in a lake, something goes wrong, unfortunately you're in the water. What are you going to do? You're going to have to swim to safety. You got to swim to something that you can grab onto. And that thing that you're grabbing onto, whether it's the shore or something like a floating piece of log or whatever that you can grab onto, you don't know how far you have to swim. So always, 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 always push your stamina when it comes to swimming, okay? This guy can definitely swim more than one lap. You can tell, right? He's not out of breath and you can too. Now the third thing he's gonna have to fix is gonna take some time, okay? And you, this is a very common problem that front crawl swimmers face, you know, when they're first learning this stroke. And you can tell right away, if you haven't spotted it already, watch it again, watch this clip again and over and over, it's his hips. You notice that his hips are really low underneath the water. Too low, too low. And as a result of his lower hips, his legs are underwater as well. So when your legs are deep in the water, it's, it makes it harder for you to raise your legs up and kick towards the surface of the water, which is where you should be kicking optimally, okay? Your legs aren't on top of the water. Your legs aren't exactly below the water. They're just kind of skimming the top of the water like this, just popping its head out every so often as it kicks. And you can tell it's working when you see white water, okay? When there's no white water and your legs are quiet, you're kicking too low. Now, how do we fix this problem? You're probably asking me, Justin. So uh, there's two things that I recommend, okay? Two things that you can pick up right now that can fix this problem, okay? So first of all, you have to orient yourself to think that your hips are too low, okay? It's like driving a car with two rear flat tires and a piano in the trunk, okay? So how do we fix this problem? Two things, you can wear a flotation belt. You get a flotation belt, you see grannies wear it all the time in the deep end when they do their aqua size, okay? You can put that flotation belt around your waist and it automatically raises your hips up, okay? A little bit too high for my preference, for my taste, okay? But it will get you into that mindset, okay? That's where my hips should be, okay? And now that your hips are really high, like really high, too high in my opinion then you can start working on your kicks and then it's kind of like a it's like wearing retainers it just it just fixes your posture 
as you do your front kicking, okay? Now, when you're doing front kicking, just do front kicking, okay? Hold the kickboard out in front with the flotation belt around your waist and just focus on one thing, not the arms, just the legs, okay? And your breathing, of course, okay? So just focus on blowing bubbles and focus on your kicking, where your hips are, where your feet are, okay, in, in all of this, okay? And then film your swimming afterwards and see if you got your posture correct. The second tool that you could use instead of a flotation belt, because flotation belt is just too high, it raises your hips really high, is a kickboard, okay? So you grab a kickboard and you put it between your legs. And then what you do with your legs is you wrap your legs around the kickboard, okay? And it will raise your hips again up, not as high as the, the flotation belt because the, the kickboard is placed a little lower towards your thighs instead of your hips. So it's, it's a little bit more natural, okay, the feeling. But you risk uh, your movement of your legs, okay? Now, why do I recommend this instead of the flotation belt? Well, they, they both work simultaneously, okay? So here's, here's my thought, okay? You can work on the flotation belt with your kicks, and then you can work on your arms with the kickboard, okay? So what I do is if I want to swim front crawl and I want to turn off my legs, I can turn off my legs by putting a kickboard between my legs and then just set, just squeeze my, wrap my legs around like this. And that's it, I can just start doing front crawl and it's, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier, you move a lot faster, you don't have to work on your legs at all, okay? Your legs are just, just floating up towards the surface and you can just focus on your arms, okay? So you can see the night and day, right? Comparison, right? One works on your legs, the other you can work on your arms, but in the end, they both like straighten out your posture. Okay, so this is what I recommend for this gentleman. Uh, give it a try at your local pool. That's all I have to say for now and uh, happy swimming. Okay, and, 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 and uh, if you wanna really wanna learn how to swim, go to 7dayswim.co, sign up for my online course, Discount code SUMMER2022, get 10% off, and sign up now, okay? Learn how to swim, seriously, okay? If you wanna learn how to play piano, you learn from the best, okay? If you wanna learn how to ride a bike, you learn from somebody who's ridden a bike before. If you wanna learn how to swim, learn from me, okay? I know how to swim, I can teach you how to swim, okay? I made a course that teaches thousands of people how to swim, okay? Take the course, okay, and get 10% off, SUMMER, 2022. That's the discount code. Click the link down below to get access, instant access, okay? Just get some in, okay? All right. Thanks a lot for watching. My name's Justin. Take care and bye!